Hi guys and welcome to this video which is going to be all around how to get your toddler to brush their teeth when they refuse. This is going to be a great one and not only because it's tried and tested but because I have looked into this myself, I needed this for my toddler and I hope these tips are going to help you guys, it's going to get you motivated to do their teeth because Personally, I myself as a mum really find it difficult to even want to brush their teeth because it's such a pain in the bottom. <laughs> so this video isn't just around tips for toddlers who need their teeth brushing, but actually if you carry on, watch towards the end. First, I'm going to give you some tips around how to do it. So how you can start off and actually what methods you can use to encourage them to do their teeth. But actually as you watch along, you'll actually find out some methods that you can use if they refuse and actually give you some tips for that as well. So I'm really hopeful that this is gonna be helpful for you guys. Now, I realize I've just jumped into the topic. However, if you are new here, I'm Alina Ghost and thank you so much for joining me in this video. I do lots of video content around mum stuff. So I really hope that you like it. It's around clean with me's, it's tips like these. I also did like some potty training stuff as well. Might be useful for you guys, especially if you've got like toddler at the moment. I have a nearly three year old. I have a huge dog as well. And I live in Essex, UK, in case you're interested. If you like this content, please do give me a thumbs up because it really means the world to me. I do these in my spare time and work full time as well. And I'm a mum. Yes, I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> but if you also want to see all those videos coming up, usually every Friday, then do hit that subscribe button and the bell button too, so that you get notified about my content. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So let's start off with something quite easy. Let's just say like the first thing that you're going to do is actually set up a calendar for them to be able to add some stickers to it. So that is what we did. We got a calendar so that every morning and every night he can add a sticker to the board. So at the very beginning, we actually had some stickers with like a tooth on it with a smiley face and they're different colors. There's some rainbows on it as well. Um, and then in the evening, he would add a twinkle star because it's like nighttime. So it's about getting ready for bed and stuff like that. But you can do whatever stickers work for you right now. We actually do any stickers so we have a range of stickers that he can use and choose for himself whether it's a dinosaur whether it's a love heart or like a food and fruit he can add those into his calendar square i definitely recommend that you should get like a calendar that's actually got like lots of big square boxes so that there's plenty of space for them to take the sticker themselves and put it on there so that independence is really important as well for them my son always wants to do it himself and he likes to um, like take the sticker and put it on and the other tip actually I'm going to give you is if you've got stickers with the white outing make sure that you take the the white off so that it's easier for them to take the stickers like the actual sticker itself rather than the white outer layer hopefully that makes sense so it just makes it a little bit easier for them to be more independent the other thing about stickers is that it's not just about that reward of the sticker itself but it's what it means. So what we do is when we get the sticker, whether it's myself or my partner, we make sure that the other one gets involved as well. So for example, if I brush my toddler's teeth, I would tell my toddler to call daddy and tell him that you've brushed your teeth, that you've been such a good boy and that you got a sticker. So usually he calls downstairs and he's like, daddy, daddy, I got a sticker. And then daddy would get involved, come upstairs and we'd make a huge fuss about it. We'll give him a clap and we're like, well done and yes honestly it's every single time so that they know that the reward isn't just about the sticker but actually about what it encompasses the fact that they've been so good that they've brushed their teeth and we're all celebrating together so that was something that worked for us very early on and just a quick plug about my other content I actually did some like toddler mum hacks as well that includes some of this stuff so make sure to check that out too I'll add a link down below for you guys moving on to number two and that will be around screen time it's not my favorite tip because I personally don't like to have screen time especially before bedtime so I'm gonna be doing a, a toddler mum routine in the evening very soon so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that content but essentially I believe that do whatever works so sometimes I would use my phone or he got an iPad for Christmas put the iPad on now so that he can watch whatever he wants. He can actually choose whatever he wants on YouTube. I've got YouTube Premium as well, so that I don't have to watch the ads 
or you, there's kids YouTube as well, which I'm going to get very soon. But essentially, it's just around giving them the autonomy to watch anything they want. And he sort of phases out. You know that face that they do where they're just like, they're just watching and they're engrossed in something that they don't even notice that something's going on here. So I do tend to sometimes use this method where I just take the toothbrush and whilst he's watching, get him to open his mouth and actually brush his teeth. So tip number three is something that daddy started off with my son Aiden. So something fun, it's a game where you have to clap. So the idea is that you brush their teeth and you count for how many seconds. So I would go up to 10 seconds, like the most. So you keep going. So one, two, three, four, five. And then when you take it away, you then clap one, two, three, four, five. And then you do it again. So obviously because you have to wash or brush their teeth around a minute or two um, you'd have to make sure that you do enough seconds to actually make it enough however I'd say any little wins are wins especially if you're brushing their teeth twice a day I think that even sometimes because like they can be refusing to do it or it could be an absolute pain that you, I'm just giving you advice here that you don't have to be so harsh on yourself or your child. Yes, obviously they need to brush their teeth. However, even if it's a little bit, I think that's a win-win situation. The main thing, and I'll talk about this a bit later on, is about having a non-negotiable system where they have to brush their teeth, whether they like it or not, because sooner or later, they'll give up fighting you and they'll brush their teeth as they're supposed to. Here's a quick clip around us doing the clapping game. Видно. Ладно, на меня видно. Давай. Раз, два. Айда, я тебя не вижу. Давай. Тебе не нравится? Ты большой мальчик ты. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять. Не нравится? Давай. Ну это для больших мальчиков. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять. Хлопай. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять. Ей! А сейчас раз, два, три, четыре, пять. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять. So the reason that the clapping game works so well is because you come out of their mouth because it's such such like a private area anyway and like they need to know when they can essentially breathe if they've got a runny nose or because they swallow it rather than like spit it out like we do like the toothpaste so the fact that you are putting that timings together like i'm going to be in your mouth like no longer than 10 seconds it provides them with that time limit and therefore not only is it like the clapping but they can like have a break over here as well but something that I was going to mention in another tip is the fact that you could use an hourglass for them to turn it so that they know how long this process is going to last that it's not going to be forever it's just going to be until the timer runs out something that works really well for us as well and that is nursery rhymes so it could be nursery rhymes it could be i i know loads of people that use the happy birthday song for a while we were obsessed with happy birthday to you <laughs> and then also christmas came along so then it was we wish you a merry christmas so any songs that you think that will work really well nursery rhymes are perfect for that and also that goes back to understanding how long that process might be around how long are we going to be in your mouth brushing your teeth and then we're going to finish it off I saw this on TikTok and I wish I can credit the lady who who like showed me that I can't for the life of me find it so if somebody remembers who it is please do comment that down below but essentially she told me or told us on TikTok that what works really well is that you brush their teeth um, like you I don't know, you do five seconds or you, you do a nursery rhyme, so, or happy birthday to you, and then you take out their toothbrush, and then you go, woo, 
difficult and then you go back in and start singing again so once again it's a little bit similar to what i've mentioned around the clapping game it just gives them that that time to like process it make sure that they can breathe and like swallow it so that they're a little bit more comfortable to go back in plus it's fun because it's a bit of a game on occasion we also let him brush his own teeth not only is this great for independence so we offer it around and we're like yeah take your own toothbrush yep so teach him go right to the back there's also plenty of games that you can buy with like you know the mouth and you can brush their teeth and stuff or like bring a toy we've got a dinosaur so with loads of teeth so we can like brush his teeth as well but essentially it just allows them to practice but the other thing it just breaks it up a little bit and understanding that you need to brush your teeth whether it's me brushing it for you or you brushing your teeth it just needs to be done the other thing that works out is where you actually swap it round but do it together so for example I would brush his teeth he would brush my teeth and then we would swap again so he would brush his own teeth I would brush my own teeth whatever works and essentially I will go into this a little bit later on around when they refuse to actually do it but the idea is to do any of these in order to get them engaged in tooth brushing. So basically get them to brush their teeth no matter what, whether it's a game, whether it's because of stickers, whether it's because of something else, whether it's a mix of these things. So we could be like uh, brushing each other's teeth. We could be watching the screen and he will get a sticker at the end of it if he brushes his teeth. So three methods in one, just as long as it gets done. For a while, this worked really well for us and that was when my toddler wanted to like clean the bath and the window, so not, and, and the sink. So he would ask to use the spray, he would ask to use like the scrubber, the cloth, just to clean the area in the bathroom. I don't know why he's obsessed with cleaning, but I totally encourage it. He likes to help me with a dishwasher too downstairs. But yeah, anyway, that's another story. The idea is the fact that you let them do these things or do something fun that they want to do. Or for example, say, I will only play toys with you, like this specific game, only if you brush your teeth first. So basically it's not essentially bribing, but, and we'll talk about that in a sec, but it's about like telling them that if you do this thing for me, I will do this thing for you back and I'll let you use, I don't know, in this case it was like a, a cleaning spray or like a window spray. And then he would use and like use that and then clean it. So the idea is the fact that he would be ready and happy to brush his teeth so that he gets the reward afterwards. Which brings me on nicely to bribing him with something that he would like to eat. So it's a little bit counterproductive, so I don't always recommend this, but essentially like worse comes to worse, if you want to make sure that they brush their teeth, you can say, look, I will give you the snack, this treat, this sweetie afterwards. Yes, it's not great because actually you're brushing their teeth because they've been eating so much sweets and chocolate. But however, you're getting them to brush their teeth is just to get into the routine, into the rim of, rhythm of brushing their teeth like every morning, every night, no matter what. So basically what I'm trying to say is the fact that teeth brushing is non-negotiable. So even if you have to pin them down and brush their teeth, and yes, I've done that many times myself, like it's, it's not nice and it's not something that I would want to do, but the point is that you're teaching them that, look, we can do it the nice way and all of these methods that we, 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 we want to do, however you don't want to do them, you're refusing to do it and therefore I will have to force you to brush your teeth. Hopefully the idea is that you show them that it's non-negotiable, that whether you like it or not, you will get your teeth brushed and therefore eventually you will stop fighting this. You rather take it the nice way, get all the rewards, all the positivity there, rather than start arguing and fighting with mummy and daddy to brush your teeth. I was actually talking to my friend about this the other day and what she said is exactly that, that the fact that she had to pin her little girl down uh, a few times until she realized, you know what, like, 
it clicked and therefore she would just brush her teeth normally and in a nice way after that. So what happens when your toddler refuses to brush their teeth? Firstly, I've mentioned this already and that is about trying different methods. Try something new, try something fun and make it a fun experience, make it positive, offer lots of rewards, try a few methods at the same time, see what works for you. It is sometimes so mood dependent, it is unbelievable. So for example, if it's the evening and I know he's tired, then the screen is more likely to work where he just like sort of zones out. Whereas in the mornings, I'm more able to be like, oh, you want to play this? Well, if you want to play this, let's go brush your teeth and then we'll do it. Something that I found really works well, and that is when they refuse to brush their teeth to get your partner, family member, somebody else involved that isn't you, so that it's a little bit of a different experience. I found that when he brushed his teeth with daddy at the very beginning, he'd have absolutely no problems. Daddy was really able to like hold him as well. So I don't know whether that was like part of the process, the fact that he was picked up, whereas because I couldn't pick him up and use my other arm to brush his teeth because he's quite big, then like, I wonder whether it's the fact that he couldn't move anywhere or go anywhere if he felt a little bit safer maybe, he would brush his teeth with daddy. However, as the process went along, I found that actually me doing these like games and stuff with, with him worked really well. However, daddy would start with a different game as well. So it's, it's like, best of both worlds where he managed to get lots of fun from the different parents and have a different experience and basically just have fun, do something different. They're all about fun and enjoying life, exploring life. So it's about like, if something isn't working, try something new and see if that works for your baby. So I know that I said that it's non-negotiable, but sometimes, and I, for myself, I know that it's quite rare, but I definitely did go through this where I thought, okay, well, sometimes not doing teeth or forgetting about it because you're too tired to do it. You just like put them straight to bed. I'm just like, I just can't deal with brushing their teeth tonight. That is also okay. That's very normal, very human. But I made a point that if he would remind me about teeth brushings, then I would make sure that we brush our teeth regardless of how I'm feeling. So that is hopefully a point that I learned myself that will be useful to you guys. Last but not least, something that worked really well for us when my son would, was refusing was the fact that like my partner and I would work as a team. So we as a family would come into the bathroom and say, look, I'm brushing my teeth. Daddy's brushing his teeth, now it's your turn to brush your teeth. So basically, not necessarily like gang up on the child, but it's about working together, working simultaneously, like as a team, and making sure that like we encourage each other in a positive way to brush his teeth as much like as possible in a positive way. But as I said, it's non-negotiable, therefore you can either do it the nice way or you're going to be forced into it. <laughs> so guys, I really hope that you found this helpful. Essentially, what I'm trying to do here is to give you methods that you can try. Maybe you can mix up together to see what works for you guys so that you can do it in the positive way as much as possible. I hope that if you are currently struggling, that when your toddler realizes that actually it's non-negotiable, and I think that's a point too. Let's talk about that in a second before I wrap up actually. So the way you do it to make sure that it's non-negotiable is A, make sure that your toddler's teeth are brushed all the time, so morning and and evening yes I said sometimes rarely it's okay to miss it out but it's only if they have forgotten it however if they remember it you need to make a point of actually brushing their teeth as well so the idea is like no matter what you will get your teeth brushed so if you don't want to take it in a positive way then you'll be forced to do it unfortunately not nice but one day I promise it will click and then it will all be easy peasy for you guys. It'll be part of the routine and that's the idea, the fact that it is a routine. It is done morning and evening so that they know exactly what's coming, how long it's going to take and that actually it should be a positive experience with all the stickers, lots of fun, lots of engagement as well. 
I really hope that this was really useful for, to you guys. If you've got any other methods and fun things that you can share with us down below, I would very much appreciate it. Comment down below what you currently use with your toddler. Hopefully it will help other parents as well. Thanks so much for watching and I really hope that your toddler is very much soon going to brush their teeth, no problem whatsoever. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye.